Our growth in India is tremendous. We have about 16 hotels throughout India, and within uh, five years, we'll have at least 100 hotels. 100 hotels? A hundred hotels. hotels. That is, across all brands, Ritz-Carlton at mm -hmm. the iconic luxury level, mm -hmm. JW Marriott, uh, Marriott, Renaissance, Courtyard, and soon Fairfield Inn for the moderate tier traveler. So that means you are going beyond the big cities? We are. We're going to go into secondary and e even uh, third you know, level markets. That means that you're not just setting up infrastructure, you're also training people and you're giving them employment and you're transforming lives. This is a huge part of what we're doing in India okay. is um, creating the jobs mm -hmm. with the new hotels mm -hmm. and every new hotel creates hundreds of jobs. Yes. Then we have to train the people for those jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, we are actually partnering with some of the universities in India. Mm -hmm. uh, we are partnering with the Mahindra Foundation mm -hmm. to support the Mahindra Pride Schools, mm -hmm. which takes people at the lowest level of the economic tier, yes. brings them in, youth between the ages of 18 and 25, trains them for those entry-level hospitality jobs, and then basically brings that income home to those families and transforms those lives. In fact, I was talking to somebody else who's in, in a different business, and they were talking about how youngsters, not children, but youngsters from smaller towns, the, the not so well off families, are hungrier and are such good employees. That's exactly right. I think we have tremendous loyalty mm -hmm. when we give young people who haven't seen opportunities before that opportunity to come in and actually move up within a hotel. Mm -hmm. And hotels are really positioned to be able to have you come in at the entry level, learn some skills, move up to being a supervisor, from being a supervisor to being a manager. So we have people who started in our hotels in the U.S. at the entry level jobs who are now general managers of those wow. hotels and even executives within the company. So it's part of the India dream. It is, very much so. And I've had a chance to go to India just once. I'll be back this year, but my first trip I was in Delhi, Mumbai, uh, Bangalore, Pune, Jaipur, and there's so much more I'd like to see. Oh, lovely. One last thing, what does in Brand India mean to you? Brand India to me is vibrant, mm -hmm. it's um, big, um, it's forward-looking, yeah. it represents innovation, aspiration, and the future.